Hey guys, this is Kenjido and welcome to another Make Shop Pro video. So recently I created a time lapse video um, that took sort of a portrait and stylized it. In this video, I just wanted to explain and kind of commentate what I did so you can get an idea of what the process was like. So let's get to it. So to start out, I isolated the figure from the background using the background eraser and then used the lasso selection tool uh, and inverted the selection just to get rid of all the extra. Next, I'm going to apply the halftone effect by going to Effects, Artistic Effects, and Halftone. Now, halftone, uh, when using these settings, has a tendency to be dark, so I use levels to try to brighten up the image so that the halftone isn't just completely black. So then I save off a copy of this image so that I can use it as a reference for applying the displacement map. The displacement map can be accessed by going to Effects, Distortion Effects, and Displacement Map. And you can see another tutorial that I have on how to do this uh, in greater detail. After the displacement map has been generated, um, you may have to uh, realign it or resize it, adjust it just to get it to line up with the base image underneath it a little bit better. Next, I increase the canvas size so that I have more of a um, ratio of width to height that seems artistic than just what started with, and it gives me more room to add some artistic elements. So I'm applying a gradient that I chose that just happened to be a pink fading to a gray for the background. But then I also wanted to apply that gradient to the figure skin. So I inverted the gradient so that it didn't just look like you're, you're seeing the color from the background, but that it fades in the opposite direction. And then used the mask to isolate that color onto the figure. Now, using that mask and coloring in black onto it, I could allow some of the original black and white to come through on the figure skin. And it just gives a little bit of variance, almost sort of like a, like a luster or a metallic shine just to it so that it, it's a little bit more interesting than just the flat pink colorization. So now with a new mask on the black and white, white layer, what I wanted to do was allow the edges to kind of be more transparent with some of the halftone design. So uh, applied a mask that just, uh, you know, it, it reduced its opacity just around the edges. Now fixing the sort of cut off part of his shoulder, I actually just grabbed the left, what would be his left side of his shoulder, copied it, inverted it, and moved it over to the right. Now to make the composition more interesting, following more like the rule of thirds, uh, I repositioned him over to the left side of the image. Next, I have a brush that I got from Brush Easy, which produces these cool looking bubbles that have sort of different levels of depth of field, if you will, simulated into them and just painted a few of them all over the background. Notice though I reduced the opacity significantly because this really is meant to just be a subtle effect. So now I grabbed a pixel stretch image that I created for a different tutorial. It actually has nothing to do with this one, but I thought it created a really nice banding and then I'll use the Mesh Warp tool to kind of give it a little bit of character like it's flowing across the background. Now one thing with using the Mesh Warp tool, if you hold control before you pull one of the points, it'll restrict the direction that you can move it, but it'll kind of bring the other points with it, sort of like a proportional editing. So once I created the first one, I, I really wanted it to blend in the background, so I reduced its opacity and I gave it some Gaussian blur. And then I did the same thing again with another band, a different pixel stretched band. Apply the same mesh warping, but maybe a slightly different pattern. I used levels to kind of brighten it a little bit, and then created a mask layer on it and painted black just to kind of erase parts of it, if you will, to help it blend into the scene. And that's it. 
So thanks for watching. That was just a quick tutorial and more of a commentary really of what I did to create a particular artistic piece. Um, it pulls a lot of different elements together, but I have a lot of other videos that can explain some of the details on how to do as a displacement and masking and all those things. So check those out. And if you have any questions uh, or have any content you want to suggest, feel free to leave a comment. And if you're interested in getting notified of new content, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.